Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP and once again, this is the one day chart. We're sitting here just above 58 cents. It was a nice green day for XRP. We had some nice upward movement, but I'm not going to be that guy who comes here and tells you, look at XRP, it's going absolutely parabolic because we literally only moved up three to four cents. But you know what's nice about this? All those same narratives are back around XRP once again. I see the buyback being talked about now. 589 being talked about. Some people are saying this is just the beginning. 10K is right around the corner for XRP. Let's just break a dollar first. That's the way I look at it. But it is nice to have a green day after going sideways for such a long period of time. The German adults in the room have arrived, predicts XRP 5 to $10, XRP 3 to 4 digits. I can well imagine that will happen. Wow, what a clip. He also owns Ripple Equity SPVs. Does anyone know who this guy actually is? Put it in the comments section if you do, because I've seen some people saying he works for the Central Bank of Germany. Other people are saying he's part of the German government. Nobody really knows for sure, but let me tell you something. He's telling you exactly what everybody else has been telling you all along. XRP is gonna hit some high numbers. All you gotta do is stay patient until it happens. JP Morgan changes tune on crypto as Bitcoin surges. You know, Jamie Dimon, he's always out there. He's very vocal against crypto. But at the same time, we know he's buying up and holding crypto as well. You know, whatever Jamie Dimon says, just do the opposite. Because he knows what's going to happen with XRP as well. He's part of the reason we ended up in the lawsuit with the SEC. When crypto and the derivatives fully collide, that's when the true value of this new asset class will be agreed upon. Prices are set in the derivatives market. Derivatives equal price discovery. Listen to this. Crypto is much more than just a new asset class, but really a new architecture of finance, a new way of establishing who owns what and who's transferring what to whom using the internet as the basis for establishment of that, uh, that value as opposed to the individual balance sheets of proprietary institutions. It's a new architecture, a new protocol for establishing value. In any a commodity market, the price of the underlying commodity is actually not set in the physical or the spot market. The price is set in the derivative markets. Mature derivative markets are essential for price discovery because it's the one place that all the buyers and sellers can come together to agree on price. That's why the price of gold is not set in a jewelry shop. It's set in the derivatives market. The price of wheat is not set at a grain elevator. It's set in the derivative markets. The price of oil is not set at the gas pump. It's set in the derivative market. So do you think the price of XRP will be set in the derivatives market? And I think that's going to be huge. Once we see that value come from derivatives, it's going to change everything like an overnight event. And that's coming as well. We already see Ripple pushing in that direction. CBDC pilots ramping up in 2024 as Korea and Russia plans to introduce CBDC programs to its citizens this year. Also, XRP highlighted as an enticing technology to bankers as it is legally in the clear and already has institutional grade interest as a bridge currency. Like I said, they're going to start fast tracking now because Russia is already starting to push away from the sanctions and the SWIFT network. They're looking for a better alternative. I think they're going to find it with Ripple and XRP because I think Russia has been working with Ripple in the background for a long period of time now. We've seen hints of it over time through different announcements that have happened over time. But you know... Every single country now has to fast track as well because they have to keep up with the rest of the world or they're going to be left behind. Morgan Stanley, one of the most important financial consultancies globally, 
predicts that cryptocurrencies will disrupt the global financial system in 2024. The moment that crypto investors have been waiting on for years is finally here. Like I've been telling you all along, the finish line is now in sight. Just stay patient for a little while longer. This year is going to be transformative. We're going to see things change so quick. And you know, anybody not in crypto is going to regret not investing when they had the chance. You know, these ISO cryptocurrencies right now are still very undervalued. You're not too late to get in. You know, I talk to people outside of crypto all the time and I tell them, listen, the window is closing. You're either going to get invested now or you're going to be left behind forever. And, you know, a lot of them don't believe that because they've been sold that narrative all over the mainstream media news ever since the fall of FTX. And I think that even happened at that specific time for a reason. So they could start fast tracking towards crypto regulations which are also going to come about this year. The crypto market in 2024 will be characterized by institutional support for blockchain projects, regulatory clarity, and significant innovation. Too many signs are pointing to this year finally showcasing the potential of digital assets changing everything. That comes from smoke. And that starts with regulatory clarity as well. We got legal clarity for XRP, but Ripple's still tied up with the SEC. And I still think that's somehow holding us back. And I think it's going to change this year. A lot of things are going to change this year. I even think the US dollar is going to go digital this year. We're going to see a CBDC. And that's why these politicians are already trying to get laws put in place to prevent a CBDC from even happening. Ripple partners with Silicon Valley firm to introduce multi-asset tokenization on XRP Ledger. Now they're forming together or partnering up with that company Zonix. And I like what they say right here. These tokenized, tokenization solutions, namely tokenization platform as a service and tokenization lifecycle management would help transform the XRP ledger into a suitable environment for tokenization of real world assets. According to the press release, the goal of the collaboration is to enhance the efficiency and accessibility of real world asset tokenization on the XRP ledger, utilizing XRP, its native asset, as well as issued tokens for on-chain representation, thereby fostering great efficiency and liquidity. So they're going to utilize XRP. That's very important because that's how we get rich. And I like the idea of that because tokenization, again, is going to take off this year as well. Arthur Brito discusses the concept of XRP in 2013. There should be enough XRP to last for thousands of years. Now, when somebody first reads this, right, they would say, well, it's, since XRP is built to last thousands of years, by the time any amount of XRP is burned up, we will all be gone. But that's not how it's going to work. There's going to be such a demand for XRP. Some people are going to hold XRP forever. You want to be one of those people. Now, I'm not saying don't sell some of your XRP and take profit. I'm always telling you to do that so you it'll allow you to stay patient. But you always want to be holding some. Pass it on to your children, to your grandchildren, and so on. Because I think over time, What's going to continue to happen is there's going to be a supply shock of XRP that retail can buy. Retail most likely will be left behind in this market. Anybody holding is going to become super rich. And anybody trying to buy a little bit of XRP here and there, there's just not going to be any XRP. Not when all these big financial institutions start holding it for their own use. That's what I think will lead to scarcity. The demand for this cryptocurrency is what I'm saying. With CBDCs implemented, there is still a cross-border problem because you need settlement from CBDC to CBDC. Brad tells you that right here. The central banks may be thinking about issuing their own coins. 
You know, it's an interesting question. I, you know, you do that question was definitely discussed. Uh, you know, I think you have to come back to okay, what problem is that solving? Mm -hmm. Even if you offer a central bank coin, you still have to have a settlement to another central bank coin. So, from again, from Ripple's point of view, you still have a cross-border problem. Uh, there might be some efficiencies of using a digital asset on a domestic basis, but it doesn't obviate the need for that cross-border efficiency that Ripple's very focused on. That interoperability between today, between you know, uh, different currencies, but even the future, as I mentioned earlier, between different marketplaces using digital assets to allocate resources. And that's exactly why Ripple will steal a lot of business away from SWIFT. SWIFT equals three to five days requiring trillions locked up so they can settle at the end of the day. XRP three to five seconds freeing up trillions with instant settlement and trapped capital. Who's going to win? Nobody wants to wait days anymore. And that's one of the big advantages of XRP and RippleNet, instant settlement. SWIFT does not settle quick enough to compete with Ripple and XRP. I know some of you asked me that in the comment section. Why would anybody choose to use Ripple over SWIFT? And then we've been saying this for a long period of time now. Even through upgrades, SWIFT will never be able to compete with Ripple. Once the NDAs expire, Ripple is on every news channel. Everyone always forgets about the NDAs too. I wonder who those NDAs are with. You know, once we start finding out who Ripple's working with once these NDAs expire, I think it's going to be shocking to most people. Because I think most of the biggest companies out there know what Ripple and XRP is. I think they've been working with Ripple for years. But you know, most of those partners are most likely in the United States where they don't want to have those announcements because of the SEC. But we will all know soon enough who those NDAs are with. White House, Bitcoin mining significantly strains the power grid. Now, here comes the narrative from the U.S. government. And, you know, that always comes at a time where Bitcoin is about to sh really shine, make a new all-time high, possibly. Then they start fudding all over Bitcoin once again. We'll see it coming from Elizabeth Warren soon enough as well. But, you know, this year is going to be huge. And I think most people got into XRP early enough. You're still early, even if you buy now, that we beat everyone else here. Think about that. Everyone else, the big financial institutions are coming into this space now. Enterprise adoption is happening. And then we're going to see a whole pile of new crypto investors this year as well. And that FOMO money is going to show up. And that's when you will realize being early was the best thing that could ever happen for you. You know, I always said you're early, but you're also lucky because these prices are not going to hold much longer. I mean, it was a nice green day, though, for XRP. And I was very happy about that. And I thought to myself, you know, finally, finally, the FUD can now end about around XRP. And it sure did. All those same narratives came rushing back, and that's what I was waiting for. Because once that comes back to this space, all of a sudden, the, the space is no longer divided like we were. All of a sudden, everybody comes together again, and it's a great time in crypto. But you know, until we get to those high prices, you got to stay patient, stay positive, so we could all get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.